हे गाइज वेलकम टू कॉन्सेप्ट एंड कोडिंग एंड एज यू नो दैट आई रिसेंटली गॉट प्रमोटेड टू मेंबर ऑफ टेक्निकल स्टाफ वन एंड थैंक्स अ लॉट फॉर द विशेज गाइज सो बट वन थिंग आई नोटिस दैट लॉट ऑफ इन लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन कम्स इन लाइक हे शांश वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एस डी थ्री एंड एम टी एस वन वॉट वुड वॉट इज द रोल ऑफ रोल एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ एम टी एस वन वुड बी हाउ यू एबल टू गो टू द नेक्स्ट लेवल वॉट वुड बी द कैरियर पाथ फॉर द एस डी वन टू एम टी एस वन राइट सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू कवर ऑल दिस टफ आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू कवर द जे डी जॉब जॉब डिस्क्रिप्शन विच कम्स इन राइट एंड रीड आउट इट्स रोल्स एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी वॉट एवर आई विल टेल यू आई विल टेल यू फ्रॉम माई एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ ऑलमोस्ट नाउ क्लोज टू एट ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस सो इट्स ऑल बेस्ड ऑन माई एक्सपीरियंस इट माइट डिफर फ्रॉम पर्सन टू पर्सन राइट सो आई वॉन्ट वेस्ट मच ऑफ योर टाइम लेट्स गो इन टू इट ओके सो एज एन एस डी वन सो लेट से यू आर अ फ्रेशर टोटली लाइक जस्ट पास आउट फ्रॉम द कॉलेज एंड ज्वाइन एज एस डी वन सो वॉट इज द नंबर ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस जनरली रिक्वायर्ड जीरो टू टू इधर यू डोंट यू आर जस्ट अ फ्रेशर एंड टिल इवन टिल द टू ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस बिफोर टू ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस यू कुड बी एस डी वन राइट सो वॉट क्वालिटी एस डी वन इंजीनियर शुड हैव बेस्ड अपॉन माई ओपिनियन that sd1 should be able to write quality code this is very 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 important from sd1 perspective so when i mean by what is you mean by quality code see whenever you get any task don't get jump into and write code right whenever you get any task right discuss with the team first analyze yourself what you are going to solve it how you are going to solve it then discuss with the team hey i am going to implement like this take the feedback right and then implement it right so you will get less comment on your pr right so write a quality code with proper uts and proper ft so this is the four most important point which is required from sd1 what else so sd1 should take its time to learn domain right so it's more for from an sd perceptive mostly one is sd1 perceptive mostly thing is learning so learn domain right so that's what my second point is learn domain try to learn what how your component what are the different apis and go through it understand the work culture like collaboration between team and within team so take your time like how collaboration work so see you don't have to like come do work and go no so you have to understand the collaboration discuss with your team whatever the projects come discuss just talk what other team member is working right part if any meetings happening participate in that meeting listen right what, what other people is sharing uh, about its project and challenges right you also share so do collaboration within your team outside the team if required based upon the project which you are working on hard working and team player so you should be hard working like okay because when you join as a sd1 there is many companies where you get a lot of uh, you can say that honeymoon period where you will get lot of free time so but you also have to be little bit show that you are working hard to learn all these things domain you are trying to learn the new stuff because there is lot of new stuff you have to little bit show that you are working toward it and become a team player that's what i told you in the fr- few steps before the another main thing is curiosity like ask question if not clear do not afraid if you are not clear at any point whether in a meeting or anywhere ask question right so don't be like chup chap ekdam no you have to ask questions a lot if you are not clear participate in various events and engage in extra work like tool building etc that's where i told i bring the point tech savvy also that participate in various events if any hackathon is happening participate in the hackathon right if any other somebody in your team member is building certain tools uh join them and they said okay what help i can do right so that's where you become little bit more tech savvy you are you are, you are like tech you are not, not afraid of it right so if you see this this is the sd1 role but before going to sg2 i will tell you one very very important part in our industry like if you have to move to the next position 
let's say from sd1 to sd2 now so at sd1 itself you have to start doing certain works of sd2 from sd2 you have to move to sd3 so at sd2 level itself you have to start doing certain work of sd3 you have to show that yes i am capable of doing sd3 task or if you are on sd1 i am capable of doing sd2 task then only you will get promoted so this is true in our it industry so based on even though you are we are in different companies but i am pretty much sure this would be true for all right so sd1 clear so this is totally based on my experience let's go to sd2 so number of experience differs like okay after 2 plus years of experience generally an engineer should be considered as an sd2 right and what all qualities now sd2 should have first of all accountability and commitment so this one i kept it on top because when you are an sg2 so this is the major x factor accountability hey can i rely on shreyansh hey can i rely on hardik right if i give him or her a project i know that he or she will complete it for sure so account you have to bring the accountability you will give me i will complete it right so you have to show some commitment so commitment and accountability generally i think it's the same you have to show the commitment toward the work little bit aggressiveness so when when as an sd1 you will join you will be i know that sometime happen that we will little bit uh, shyness okay we will try to please everyone whatever other person will say we have to accept and even if they are wrong we don't try to say it right but as an now an sd2 you have to be little bit more aggressiveness and aggressiveness i don't mean we have to fight and do argument but what we have to do is if you are not satisfied like okay you have come up with this solution or this approach uh, now other person is saying that hey no this is not right this is right until uh, unless you are not satisfied yes no i am wrong why not keep discussion going on right ask why 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 don't get other person say that no uh, no shreyansh don't do this this is wrong do that and i should not okay or it, it, i you are saying then i should do that this is just one example of the aggressiveness timely delivery timely delivery is uh, very important as an sg2 accountability commitment and timely delivery like whatever the project you do yes you you will get complete but you should be able to complete on time that is also very important ready to explore new areas so you should as an uh, sd2 you should not be afraid of picking the new task which you are not have uh, hands on let's say there is a total different uh, component or technology which you have to use now as part of the another task so you should not be afraid of you should be keen okay i am going to learn new things right inspire new joiners so you should set an example for those sd ones which are coming to your company so okay this is you should set an example that how so that they can look up to you right quick learner or able to understand the context quickly so that is very important like somebody is explaining you some issue or something so you should be able to connect the dots and able to uh, uh, able to understand the context very quickly that really shows that yeah you are learning you are a fast learner whatever i am saying you are able to catch it and grasp fast and this will you will be only able to do once you know little bit about your domain because as a part of sd1 you learn little bit domain now use that to connect the dots and become a fast learner okay networking build up this is very very important so you have to build a network so people should know within your team outside your team across the teams that yes there is a person shreyansh sitting in this team work this these are the projects he is working on so network build up is very important and how network build up will happen you you have to take uh, you have to participate in various meetings right so it's not like ki apan chup chap baithe rahe apna kaam kare bas then network build up will not happen you have to meet you have to discuss you have to uh, share some input what other people are doing right so there are various meetings happens i'm pretty much sure somebody take kt you give kt so with that only we will develop the networks right showcasing of the work that's what i told you that 
if other team member knows that okay shans is working on this project or he he made that project it's like showcasing you have developed some awesome you have worked on awesome project you did an awesome work but nobody knows it what's the use it so you have to showcase it like and how you will showcase it right write some meetings write some proper documents share the kt with the team that hey this is the document which i have come up with right i'll i'll go through this one and so i think in every company there is certain meetings where design reviews happen what projects are working on showcase your document hey i have come up with this document this was the project this is the problem i faced this is how i solved it right so that's how you showcase your work by sharing with everybody right so sg2 is this much right so this is very very important so now let's come to sg3 so sg3 number of experience generally come from 5 plus years of experience right and what are the qualities an sg3 should have is first of all become an individual contributor so from design to ramp up of a complete project you should be able to take it right no help from uh, other team members and all you you should be individual contributor even if it's a complex project it's given to you you should be independently independently able to come up with a design implementation documentation and even the ramp up fully complete to the life right think from the impact to other domains now as a part of sg3 you have to broader your horizon of thinking like okay if i do this changes what all impacted it will do to my component plus what all it can impact to the other teams also right breadth and depth in the domain knowledge so this is very important as a sg3 you have to now increase the breadth of your component in which you are working on right the breadth and the depth also so this is very important i think you got it right so if you have certain uh, products in your team like your component you should be aware of the product right and how they work so if in any meeting somebody will uh, ask you so you should be able to know okay yeah i know this one you should be able to discuss on that this is very important breadth and depth pull request review you should start reviewing prs to your team members right do as much as uh, the reviews uh, pr reviews can be done lead few tech session or take few initiative like solving your component tech dev so what i mean to say is that so take few tech session tech session in the sense and the uh, tech initiative like so in every component there are certain tech depths like okay the ut coverage is very down ft coverage is very down right or let's say the build generation time is taking a lot of time so there are many kind of uh, tech depths any component has so take those initiative to improve those right take sessions how you improve that right so that is very important you have to trust team members and divide the task so that is also important so you are becoming an individual contributor right? but there is one more capability you want is how to divide a task and trust your team member that okay you have to uh, little bit divide the load which you have to the team members also right so it's not like you if there are multiple projects coming in right and you are taking all the load right so that would also not scale so you have to help scale yourself plus also your team members also take decision and do not wait for instruction so now as a sd3 and with 5 plus years of experience you should be able to take decision what is right what is wrong right and do not wait for instruction for everything from your manager or lead right hey don't do this hey do that so you should be able to take a decision right so this is sg3 now let's come to the mts1 so mts1 number of experience would be like 8 plus years year, years of experience so what all qualities uh, mts1 should have become an S sme a subject matter expert so now you should be uh, like anything anything happen in your component you should be aware of it what is happening right okay about cash db right and the business logic anything you should be aware of everything 
become poc for all the queries and tasks for your component so that is important as once you become an mts one the quality what's required is you should be become a poc point of contact for your team members plus other components team member that okay anybody should know that okay you got stuck here okay contact to this guy right so you should become a point of contact for your team and other teams involved in all team member project and in also in all project design discussion etc now as a part of mts1 you still have to work on your task but also you have to work with your team members what are projects they are working on right and try to unblock them if they are stuck and if and, and you also have to participate in the design documentation and meetings discussion so you have to participate in those also those are additional responsibilities which come as an mts1 right understand business so this is the most important part which many misses understanding business understanding domain is different right that become like become sme subject matter expert right you understand your domain better understand business how your company runs what all product they have as an overall how it is earning a profit right so you understand understanding the domain is different understanding a business is different now you are understanding the business why we have those product why customer uses those how we are generating a profit right what all different products we have when we use those so from a business perspective so that is become also important right and why we wanted to understand business because we, it help us to ask a right question if you understand a business right from using that business knowledge if any project come in you can ask a right question help building new generation lead within the team and that is another responsibility which comes in this you have to uh, within your team you have to encourage and push them to grow also though that is another responsibility of an mts1 also so this is the high level responsibilities i divided based upon my experience i might miss some all right and uh, there might be some gap also if you see based upon your company and all but this is totally on my experience and i just wanted to share with you how if you are a fresher sd1 sd2 sd3 sd4 but always remember you will at from one level to another level you will only grow if you start doing some task of another level right so at current level itself start picking some next level task and showcase that you are able capable of handling the next level task and then only you would easily get promoted right so that's pretty much from me i hope you will find this little bit content useful and if you have any questions please feel free to ping me in the comment section and the linkedin i would uh, definitely happy to help and reply so thank you guys and happy valentine day <laughs>